Greetings and welcome troops to another episode of Let's Play Warlords Battlecry 3. When last we left off, we were defending the main capital of the Sarathi again. I guess we were closer to the actual capital we were just breaking through its sieging force last time. This is the actual defense of the capital. So far, not too impressed by the enemy forces, but I shouldn't underestimate them. Let's also keep advancing the tech. Probably want more riders. There's a boys over there. See if I can take out some of these towers. Well, you can't quite outrange the enemy, but New buildings are available. If you've got enough fire, everything burns. Insulting. We keep trying, though. Yeah, well, the land attacks are not really much of a worry for me. Um, I probably will get more concerned once they start sending some air units at me. And this is only the first line of defense that they are really breaking. Well, first line of offense, I suppose. Be more technically active. As he wins, fear is now. As he wins, at least the arrows are only just arrows and not something nasty like poison, like my troops use. Yeah, all of this is so piecemeal, that's not really all that much of a threat. See, that is more of a threat. Alright, let's make sure we don't allow that up. That is a barn. Can I burn down the elephant at a distance? Because that, that would be kind of useful. Nope. Okay, so again. Oh, the enemy hero is in there as well. Fear is 
Oh, please, please, do. I'm not sure if he can die from birds. Oh, he can. Cool. Let's fall back for a moment. I do want to ensure that I'm not going to get backstabbed while I'm away. I need to make sure that my armies are in good condition. And let's just keep filling in the other structures over here. I guess we'll go all in on that. Where is the next idol worker? Because we have a scrying pool to set up. We don't technically need the scrying pool because we have got vision already, but. Make sure we're healed. And they are very, very persistent. Let us get a little bit more busy. And let's set up some defenses for our home base. Your troops are under attack. We hunt. Tis a sad death. Yeah, absolutely no elephants allowed. And let's get some points and scales. Now back to the battle, dear me. I'll just hold here for a moment. Bow before the sun. Bow the sun. New armies and buildings are available. That's going to be a little bit tricky to break. We have it. Now back to the battle. Uh, let's also get the final upgrades here. Set that up further. I do want the Saurus pen. Tremble at last. In the enemy, so he gets to donate their troops to my enjoyment. So far, they've not really made much of a dent, so are they not building any siege equipment? But really, that's what they need to do. Not doing it is kind of weird. Side needs to die. Well, become mine. Right. Hold off the enemy, please. Yes. <laughs> 
been destroyed. I am not here. Alright, that should reduce their output. Your right. troops are under attack. So it doesn't matter. Restock our supply of lizard riders. Research complete. Let's bring this all under our dominion. doesn't seem to be very proactive anymore. Maybe I, because I took out their leader, they are now no longer able to do anything sensible, but I don't know. That doesn't feel right. Oh well, there's a couple of T-Rexes out there. Let's also make sure that the enemy is not taking advantage of any more resources than I am. Yeah, seriously, there is no plan to their attack. It's just build the unit, send it forward. That is totally inadequate. They have knights, or mercenaries in this case. They could do stuff. Alright. Here's the crossing, let's guard that. Alright, what is this Muslim for a mission? Um, yeah, sure. Oak Lord's belt. Well, that's not really useful to me. I should put those things in the stash. Or sell them. Yeah, there's no point in bringing that out. 
true power is mine. Charge! To battle. You get both of them. Alright, let's start with the siege here. If they're not gonna take this battle seriously, then I'm just gonna burn them down. Burn it all down. And I seriously expected a little bit more resistance. It's definitely a more serious attack, but aside from the initial elephant they sent at me, they didn't even bother. And the halberdier is kind of impressive, but... Not if it's just a single one. Alright, and there's the victory. For a mission that is advertised as very hard, I didn't feel this was very hard. Ah, I actually lost one of my good guys. Alright, so is that the end of uh, the visit to Sears? Don't listen for rumors. Average difficulty, bonus XP. You are now approached the Sears of Kalpaxotl to try and find more information about what happened on the Sundered Isle. Alright. You know what? Let's bring extra troops. Uh, we don't get any buildings, so definitely want to load up on priests. Uh, maybe not that. A lot of riders then. I mean, I don't know if this battle will be difficult. This is the Seer's Cave. They await you. And what else await me? The guardian spirits of the cave are restless. Not a seer and they may attack. You have paid us well. We will accompany you. Huh? Well, in that case I will save. Because last time we fought we were not doing too well against the undead. Definitely should have put stuff in the stash. Alright. Ice shield. Well, at least I can use that. Uh, fast attack. And it's probably better than these boots. And even more stuff to loot. Any you good? The mechanical orb, the ring type item. Not great. Uh, 
battle. Right. Yeah, it's more spellcaster stuff. That's not really That's important for me. I'll it's just leave battle. it be. So, you have arrived at last. You have been expecting me? Oh, yes. And we know what you seek. And what if ans Then you have answers for me. But what happened on the Sundered Isle? Indeed. Rest now and we shall tell you all. Well, it's not a difficult battle, it's just, you know, not very impressive either. You are victorious! The seers of Kalpaxatol already knew of your quest. One of their number had traveled north seeking aid against the human invaders. They had found the High Elves on the Sundered Isle of Mordanion, but the Elves were loath to interfere in the affairs of men and told the Sarathi to seek help elsewhere. The Seer was angry, and sensing the nearby rift in the plains, called forth a demon to attack the Elven Guardians. A creature had been waiting on the other side of the rift for centuries, perhaps even millennia, and it answered the summons, slaying the Lord. As for where this creature was now, the seers believed that it had fled to the wastes in the northwest. <sighs> in fireworks. Mm -hmm. No further stuff. It's the 18th of April for reverence, so I'm not expecting fireworks. There shouldn't be any at this particular point in time. Alright, so I have to rehire the uh, mercenaries over and over again. You know, I, I don't mind. Uh, let us put some items in our stash. I don't know when I'm gonna find a store. But that'll do for this episode. Thank you all for watching. See you all next time. If you enjoy my content, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all then. Bye.